Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville, featuring Lee Florida Everblades. Yay! I'm Daniel Goodman, this is Christopher Draves, Yo. and this is Matt Weiss. Hooray! This is a real from Florida to Milwaukee situation though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Now, like, now Let's we have a... some Everblades, shall we? Yeah. But first, we forgot one thing. The most important thing. Uh... Go check out our buddies over there at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can, they're your Milwaukee's number one stop, sh one stop shop for all your hockey needs. I know you're excited to talk about them, Dan. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you can get all your hockey gear, referee gear. Um, you can get... Oh, 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 he's, uh, oh, 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 oh. You can get this nice, wonderful shirt. You can also get the blue Admirals jersey. Ooh. But the current so, logo, we're going through. We're talking the Navy. We're, we're in retro mode right now. Yes. Which, our our Florida Everblades fans, have you never seen this? This is the ones we wore for our Calder Cup uh, championship in 2003-2004. Yes, it is. And then there's one about a cartoon skull, but we don't talk about that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we'll never mention that on this show again. Right, that's right. It's already being redacted right now. I'm probably not going to remember this video. Yeah. Well, it's for the best, though, really. Yep. All right. Let's talk some Everblades. So. Oh, yeah, I know what he's doing. <laughs> Retro. Oh. Woo. <laughs> Dude, he's, it's, it feels so. I am it, not a crook. It feels, <laughs> it feels so cold in black and white. <laughs> But yet, our background is all colored. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> it's all actually right. kind of cool. His jersey's keeping its color. <laughs> My gosh, it is. That's his. This logo's awesome. Hey, your jersey's well, because keeping your color, too. It just means that Chris has a all right. future. Let's go. All <laughs> right. So, um, today we had the Everblades and the Iceman. Yep, Jacksonville coming to the... Uh... Coming to Hertz Arena, which are you gonna, are you gonna make your joke? Uh, it doesn't hurt as much as it used to. Uh, I'm not gonna smack you with my hat, but I'll let it slide. <laughs> but this is what we're talking about: the Jacksonville Iceman. Yes. What does Jacksonville really know about ice? They well, they a lot of slushies, probably. They, 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 they know it's shit. Oh, that's why. <laughs> so yeah, they just moved a team from Idaho. Where you know. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this game in Hertz Arena. Yes. Because they put a Hertzing on Jacksonville. Oh, yes, they did. Shots are pretty even. Pretty even. Uh, Not Florida. so much, but even. Florida, so, it was 34-28 Florida. Florida got into the double digits in the second and third, which can't be said for uh, Jacksonville, who only did it in the second, but... yeah. Let's All right, so, yeah, uh, who wants to take first period? I'll take first period. Have it? Uh, Jacksonville got on the board first with a goal by Mike Hedden on a power play, assisted by Bobby Lynch and Craig Martin. Uh, next up, we had an equal strength goal uh, with our, our beloved, newly beloved, Florida Everblades, as Joe Pendenza got uh, his goal with an assist from Zach Magwood and Michael Downing. And uh, the last goal for the first period scored by the Everblades was by Zach Magwood with an assist by Lev Kokoper and Ben Masala. And then in the second period, uh, Florida Take got off. on the board again with a goal by Justin Auger, assisted by Hugo Wah and Lucas Craigs. And then again, uh, Florida scored Lucas Craigs. With an assist by uh, Hunter Garlick and Brandon Fortunato. And then uh, Jacksonville got on the board with uh, a goal by Mike Heldon. And assisted by Chase Harrison. Oh, I know. Dan, Dan you I got take this. this one. I'll take this. Yeah, you can <laughs> go for it. Go I, for there's it. only three left, so I'll take the next story. Yeah, go for All it. All right, so the Florida Everblades scored shorthanded. By the way, Lucas Craig's goal ended up being the game winner. So we'll talk about that in a second. Mm -hmm. But Michael Hunterbaker scored shorthanded with an assist by Hunter Garland. Mm -hmm. Then Brendan Warren scored, assisted by Adam da Dunda? Dada? Dada. 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 And then Wacy Rabbit. Uh, the former Wacy. Admiral Wacy Rabbit. Wacy Rabbit. 
And then Florida scored even strength on an empty net with Lucas Craig with assist by Adam Smith. Wait, did Craig get a hat trick? Craig's had two. Uh, no. Uh, so close. Yeah. So close. But yet, so far. Okay, apparently Dalton Thor and Kyle Nublar got into a fight. Yep. Uh, Jeff Hedger got in trouble for tripping. Hunter Garland got which, hit with a hooking. Which who, 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 doesn't, who doesn't in hockey? Who doesn't get called for tripping? <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the goalies. Cause you goalies. Know. Oh, dear, the goalies. All right, so in that was Ken Appleby stopping 89%, allowing three on 20, and had 25 saves. Very nice. Jacksonville. We had Adam Carlson with 28 saves with 82% uh, save percentage and five goals against. Uh, they had a lot of guys, almost everyone, but one person was in the negative of two. Again, these Florida Everblades, their inaugural season uh, as an affiliate to the Admirals and Nashville. They're uh, proving they're worth keeping around. I hope we uh, maintain a long relationship with these Seriously. guys. Seriously. I think, like, we, I don't know if I, because I don't know much about the Cincy relationship, because we used to be affiliated with the Cincy Cyclones. Uh, I don't know if it just wavered off, it just tapered off in the end. Buffalo wanted it. Buffalo wanted it, okay. But and it was close to so. After the whole Norfolk stunt, it was just like, because Norfolk was supposed to be our, uh, our affiliate. Well, actually, if I remember correctly, Cincinnati was going to become the Columbus Blue Jackets NHL team. Oh. Or AHL team. It would have made yeah. sense. And it ended up being Cleveland because they wanted to the Wolves. Kind of All right. It's, now, <laughs> where does uh, Florida currently sit in their standings? I think they're still in second. Yeah, they're still behind the South Carolina Stingrays by three points. Yes, but they're both on a uh, – Florida's on a four-game win streak, and South Carolina's on a five, so. So, either way, these are two teams that will likely progress to the Cali Club playoffs. And uh, we'll get a good we'll get a good uh, bout out of it. All okay, right. So, so let's talk time? about the next game. Who their opponent is an independent team. <laughs> I wonder why that is, Dan. Why are they independent? Because they're kind of like that evil guy from the Flintstones. Oh, Mr. Slate. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. The movie with. Uh, oh, that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're kind of like him. Um, their guy got their CEO got caught for embezzlement. Eesh. The Norfolk Admirals. So it's no wonder why uh, they wasted like they uh, not wasted. Well, I'll get into that. It's no wonder why the National Predators pulled out of that quick. Yeah, it's a All shame right. they wasted a uh, Norfolk. Was it uh, Nashville's colors on that thing? <laughs> All right. So they have in their last ten a one eight and one record. Ouch. Ow. Yeah, they are currently twelve thirty. Three six oh. Only thirty points. Yeah. Ow. I could do better. And if not this like because the the ECHL South Division is pretty much like ours, like there's already the set there's already the set tiers. Read off the goal differential, that'll blow yes, people's minds, Dan. Alright, let's talk about the let's talk about the differentials here. We got the goal differential of Norfolk Admirals have one hundred and twenty four. To the Everblades, two hundred and one. Yeah, the Everblades. Um, the off. Everblades are oh have two shootout wins, um, eleven shorthanded goals to Norfolk's one. <laughs> uh, they have us on the power play and penalty kill by one percent at eight, fifteen and eighteen to fourteen and eight and seventy nine. Their top five players. Oh God, help Should me! Should we? Do you want me to take some of this? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, just go from. We'll go do the from, six. Just go from here. Uh, okay. And let's. I'm gonna take a ro look real quick and see if there's anybody I know. Nope, not there. Not that I know. Just do the top five. Yep. All right. First, we have Roman Amarato with uh, 28 games played, six goals, 17 assists, 23 points, and a minus 17. Next up, we have J.C. Campag or Campagna. With 34 games played, uh, 10 goals, 12 assists, 
22 points and a negative 28. Ouch. Alex Rodriguez, not the baseball player. Uh, 49 <laughs> games played, 12 goals, 10 assists, 22 points, and another negative 28. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have Alex Tong with uh, 38 games played, 5 goals, 15 assists, 20 points, and a solid zero. Ne and lastly, we have Sebastian Vidmer with uh, 33 games played, 6 goals, 11 assists, 17 points, and a negative 9. Ouch, Dan. <laughs> Alex. All right, you got guy. the defenseman, and that's oh, top boy. four. <laughs> All right, we have uh, River Rimsha. Rimsha, yeah. All right, he has 43 games played, six goals, seven assists, and a negative 17. And then we have, who is that, Bryson Martin. He has 38 games played, three goals, nine assists, and a negative 14. Then we have Austin McKinney, 30 games played, 3 goals, 9 assists, and a negative 19. Then we have Braden Sherbin, Sherbin uh, 49 games played, 4 goals, 7 assists, and a negative 19. Ouch. Alright, let's find out who their goal <laughs> let's is. Let's get to the goal. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Yeah, I see. They don't have seven. one. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Go on, Dan. You know you have to. Come on. You know you got to give it out there. All right. I'll be. You'll uh, be a good sport. All right. Their starting goaltender is Sheed Romero. Roma, Romo. Sean. Sean, Sean Romo. Sean <laughs> Romeo. Romeo. Yeah, Sean Romeo. Romeo. <laughs> Who's on first? Uh, all right. He has 16 games played, seven wins with a 3.81 Goals against average and a .870 save percentage, six losses, and one shutout. Then we have Roman Drury. 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 Uh, 12 games played, three wins, nine losses, with a 3.94 goals against average and a .883 save percentage. With nine losses and no shutouts. Then we have Jake Thote. Thote. I don't want to call him Thought. No, no, no. no. Just call him Thought. Thought. Well, he's been Thought punched with uh, five games played and averaging 4.11 goals against with a save percentage of .893. Yep. Three, Three losses, loss, no one win. overtime loss, no wins. Mm. With 169 shots against and five games played. Wow. Can you say Swiss cheese? Well, look at the Jeez. defense spin, and uh, yeah, you tell me, that's, you tell yeah. me who's playing defense. Yeah, even their skate was it? Even their forwards are. Yeah. Well, see, then we ha okay. So they have two players who are also minuses. They have a plus. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Scott whoa. Dornbrooks, twenty games played, six goals and a plus eight. Wait, wait. They have a zero. That counts. That the counts. Four, no, no, he hasn't even. <laughs> four. There's a zero. He didn't play. Oh, don't yeah. count. It's still a plus. Uh, it's not Zeros a across the board. <laughs> uh, uh, well, well, ten better than negative sixteen. Well, what do we think, guys? Uh, uh, who who does who does this game favor exactly? Uh, oh yeah. Um, I'm trying not to be impartial here. But, right. Yeah. Okay, so their record is fifty-one games played, twelve wins, thirty-three losses, with a twenty-three point <laughs> five win percentage. Ooh, ooh. They have. 124 goals scored versus 207 against. Ouch. Uh, they have two overtime wins and six overtime losses. No shootout wins, no shootout losses. They have st scored 30 goals on 100 or 201 power plays and wow. killed Good. 164 penalties out of 204. Yeah, the world better, but ow. that's all they've got going for them. Good Their Lord. penalty kill is the best thing they got. Florida, stay out of the box. Yeah, yeah you, Florida, you sure stay out of the box. There's no reason to even waste uh, a you penalty. You should be able to get team. 12 on these guys. There's no reason to even waste uh, like any kind of penalty on this team. No, seriously, they should be able to get 12. I'm kind of glad we picked up Florida. <laughs> Thank you, Good Florida, for being Lord. Good. Oh man! Um, just to, just slaughtered. just to remind our, our Everblades fans, these were the guys that used to be in the same in the same league as us. 
Yeah. And hold the record for in the AHL for most consecutive wins at 28 in a row. Which will never, like, well, it's, it's highly unlikely it'll ever be beat. Ah, uh, you never. You never know, but it's it's very improbable looking at it on paper. Yeah, 28 in a row is hard to do no matter what league. Right. Whew, this feels familiarly reversed. Yeah. <laughs> Again, uh, we're looking at the standings right now in the division. Yes. Uh... Again, guys are doing pretty good. They're only down by three. Uh, currently second in the division under the uh, South Carolina Stingrays. Again, this is a good and place to be. To start today, they'd be the two seed coming out this of that is, division. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> are they at the bottom? Of the whole league. Yeah, by a lot. By almost ten points. Yeah. So Norfolk is at the bottom of the league by almost ten points. Now, I'm going to say this. Because you're streaking, do not overlook this team. No. Trust there. me. Yes. Been there. Done that. Done that. And we've been twice back. this week. Yeah. Which, is, <laughs> which is why I said, do not like again. I know that again. The mentality is this is going to be a washover, but that's how penalties come to be. Okay, let's put it this way, players. If you ever, if one ever play players, if any of you watch this, do not overlook this team. Let the wash thoughts be with the fans. Mm -hmm. That's our thoughts. Your thoughts is kill. (laughs) Exactly. Get the win no matter what. All right. So, beyond all that. So that's tomorrow at, at what time? What time do we got fucked up? Uh, 6 p. Uh, 6 p.m. Central Standard because we're doing the. We like to try to get the Central Standard down because uh, we got Milwaukee and Nashville. Well, we have to specify the times. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh that's on home ice at Hertz Arena. So, so you guys can check us out tomorrow. Oh, uh, watch all of our stuff. By the way, go over to our YouTube page. Yeah. Click subscribe. Yeah. Click that bell. Get notified every time we upload a video. Our We're videos trying to get first. up to 35 subscribers. Currently, we have 31. Let's wow. hit 35 on Monday. Our videos hit there first. Uh, you'll see that there before you ever see it on the From Milwaukee to Nashville Facebook, Facebook page. page. So, and if you haven't checked this out on Facebook, hey, why not? Go over there as well. Click like or follow or both. And, yeah, why don't you hit both of those uh, sites and, yeah, you can get all of our content. Also, we have a uh, new content coming soon <gasps> on that, by the way. An exclusive content. Yeah. Oh, dear. Um, and that is, we have YouTube exclusive content coming. And I got to find the yeah, photo. Yeah, that's the, that's the plus it. side of YouTube and exclusive. And... Oh. 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 Whoa. We are going to be doing reaction, uh, kind of a reaction, our thoughts of every outside and inside of every NHL arena. Of course, it won't be this photo, but this is Bridgestone. Um, we will be doing AHL next. We're going to be covering every AHL jersey, home jersey, Ooh. next. Which is kind of complicated because we <laughs> do a half and half and then we'll get into that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that I mean, shit. We'll do the colors. Our start of the we'll season. The yeah. We're going by, you know, white. We'll do the colors first and then the whites later. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. It's the only way I could say it yeah. because you're right. At halfway mark of the season, they switch. They switch it. Yep. So. All right. So that'll about wrap up our show. But don't forget, check out our lovely friends over there yeah. at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can go over there for all your hockey needs. They're Milwaukee's one-stop shop for everything hockey and ice sports related. Um, I don't know about curling. I have not asked that question yet. Wow. I mean, you've seen one, right? You've seen them all. The Whoa. brought that up all the Holy crap, it's color. <laughs> I feel better now. <laughs> I feel happier. <laughs> oh no! Wait, the admirals won. I should have felt happy then. Anyway, we yeah, what the, so what you? so and all tonight out of a total of six points, we walk away with five. So five for five. You not set ju- me up. Not just a crappy band. You set me up. Five for five. Yeah. And like I said, not just a crappy band. Yeah. <laughs> up and down the pipe. Still a good night. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody walked away with points, so. 
everybody goes to bed with a, a, at least a, some form of happiness. Yeah. If you're a glass half empty. Now, if you're a glass half full kind of person, maybe not so much. Well, I think it's the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> we kill what you're saying. Uh, well, anyway, we got to get out of here. It's 2 a.m. See yeah. you guys later. Bye.